Did you know that both red and white clover have a relaxing effect when they're smoked? Yep. For those that from time to time like to sit back and indulge on a little bit of an herbal mixture in a pipe, red and white clover is an absolutely fantastic addition. And what makes smoking them great is that they are expectorants, meaning they help to shovel um, any sort of buildup um, that might be occurring on the inside of your uh, esophagus uh, and your lungs. Now, if you want a video on the white clover or AKA Dutch clover or trifolium or pens, I have done a video uh, and it should be in my plant ID uh, section on my channel. It's an absolute powerhouse of an herb ranging from uh, female usages because of uh, phytoestrogens to uh, blood detoxification. But today, let's help it be relaxed. Stay tuned, I'll be doing a video on red clover, Trifolium pretensi, um, in the near, very near future as they are popping up in abundance everywhere. And despite um, their very close similarities, they do have differences uh, medicinally. But both of these clovers that are uh, very abundant right now can be enjoyed both smoked wet or dried. I personally think that they taste a little bit better when they're wet. They have a little bit more of a sweetness to them. Um, they are just a little bit more high maintenance to ignite. These are everywhere right now and they're really, really hard to misidentify. They're in the pea family, the Fabaceae family, and this is the white clover. And here is the red clover. Well, more pink, but it's called red clover. You've probably seen them around your entire life. And maybe now you know another way that you can enjoy them. They're also edible. Happy relaxing, happy foraging. Love y'all.